I'm Jaden Jefferson, and this week's Around T-Town takes me to Bluff Street Village on Monroe Street in Toledo, and I'm joined by Larry Clark, and you're kind of heading up this project. That's correct. So give me an idea of what this Bluff Street Village here is going to do for people in our community. The idea behind Bluff Street Village is to take this street, which was really a, a vacant street, most of the houses had been torn down, and try to rebuild uh, the whole street as a neighborhood, but also to do it in such a way that low-income folks would have a chance to own their own houses. And so folks that uh, will live in these houses will rent them for seven years. They'll pay $400 a month and the electric bill. And then at the end of seven years, they'll become the homeowner. Um, they will be expected to be a part of the Tenants Association, give 10 hours a month uh, community service, and also participate in workshops that we'll provide that help give them the kind of skills they'll need to be a homeowner. And this is definitely a group we don't oftentimes see targeted in the housing market because already housing is hard to come by, but especially for low-income folks as well. Yeah, and low-income folks almost never have the opportunity to own a house, which is, in the United States anyway, the way most people build any kind of wealth or equity. And so this is really an opportunity for uh, folks to uh, have that opportunity to own a house, kind of the American dream. And you had mentioned that this street was very bare, empty, and there wasn't much here. And especially at a time when a lot of larger cities are seeing population decrease, what do you think this could do in terms of increasing population and getting people to live and work here in Toledo? Well, I think it'll make, it's already made an impact in the neighborhood. People that live here are excited to see something new happening. Um, we have also seen some new development along Monroe Street, which is just a block over, uh, that has taken place since we began this project. Now, whether we're the impetus behind that or not, uh, it is good to see that there is some new development happening in a neighborhood where nothing new has been really built in a long, long time. For sure, and what do you say is the end goal and the vision for this project, and when can we expect Bluff Street Village to be completed? Well, it'll be completed when I've raised enough money to build these <laughs> houses. See, the rent that the people pay don't pay for the houses. We have to raise all the money uh, uh, up front before we can build a house. So right now we're, we've got uh, three houses completed, two that will be completed shortly. The sixth house is being constructed right now. And then uh, we're going to start across the street here on House 7 uh, probably this spring. So again, it's, we'll build them as fast as we can raise the money. We can build 20 houses on this street. We'll have a complete street of full houses once again, like it once was. And I guess there's no feeling like seeing a vision come to life like that. So definitely some cool stuff and some important stuff as well. Larry Clark, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks for uh, caring about Bluff Street Village. Of course, and it's definitely, again, a really important project here in our community. With this week's Around T-Town, I'm Jaden Jefferson.